on your right hand side a crash of rhinos. Look how close they are to us. Full circle. Love when they come down. So the southern white rhinos, they had a similar story to those northern white rhinos. They were on the brink of extinction. These guys, there's 1,800 of them left. No one could figure out how to breed them. They thought it was done. But this park decided, let's have one last hoorah. Let's give it a chance. They had 20 flown into this park. They're going to ship them off to different parks, to different breeding programs. But before they could do that, six of them were pregnant. We tried to figure out what had happened. It clicked real quick in our mind. They're a social rhino. When they're in big groups together, they feel safe. They feel comfortable. They feel like they can protect their offspring. Because of this, they'll actually be able to ovulate. If they're not in a big group, they can't ovulate. So that started up that process. We shared it with the world. They went from 1,800 to 18,000. That's great. That's been done in the last 40 years. It's the best mistake we ever made. <laughs> Like I said, that rhino horn thing could change things the other direction real fast. So knowledge is power, and that is the best way to save these animals, is teaching people that's old medicine. You've got to be a little more modern. You've got to think a little more modern on some things. Other things, we probably should go back to some more traditional ways. That's not in the medicine world, though. right hand side we've got Cape Buffalo. Near us, Rothschild giraffes, articulated giraffes. And as we move forward, Wolf or Rhino. <laughs> Just look at him like, what are you doing? It gives you a great idea of size, doesn't it? <laughs> so maybe a couple of you are thinking, what do giraffes like to eat? You are pondering this. What do giraffes like to eat? 